the launch, the opening, the ribbon cutting of the Arium Hub, the Australian Robotic Inspection and Asset Management Hub. It's bringing together a team of globally recognised leaders in field robotics research and development, co-funded by the Australian Research Council. It's led by the University of Sydney here at the Australian Centre for Robotics. We've also got two fantastic uh, university partners, Queensland University of Technology, who have a world-renowned robotics group, and the Australian National University, whose planning and control group is really, really fantastic. Uh, we've got 15 industry partners, and that's a mixture of kind of small startup companies developing novel robotics technologies through to really large organisations that are managing important assets. But we all share the vision that robotics is a critical technology and that by working together with academics, technology developers and end users, we can really tackle those hard problems that, that, are, that, we, that we really need to do to transform the way things are working. One of the many speakers at the launch was Dr Sue Kay, Chair of Robotics Australia Group. She's been pushing for national recognition of the scale of the opportunity that the robotics sector presents. So this hub is a very welcome addition. I think the hub really represents uh, an upswing in the robotics activity that we're seeing in Australia and hopefully the icing on the cake will be when we see a national robotics strategy released later this year and I think hopefully from there we will have the momentum to really build and scale. The Arium Hub hopes to be a driving force of building and scaling the robotics industry in the country. It aims to transform the way assets and infrastructure are managed through the development of intelligent robotic systems with new capabilities for inspection, monitoring, maintenance and optimization. So one of the things that we're thinking about is uh, ship hull inspection. So when ships are brought into a dry dock, there's a, a process of, you know, you bring them in, you drain the water out, you kind of have a look and you go, ooh, actually there's a bit more of a problem here than we thought and that has big impacts on the scheduling of these sorts of operations. So if we can use robotic technology to do a pre-birthing assessment, we can get a much better idea of what the state of the ship is, provide that insight to the industry partners and their customers and key stakeholders to allow them to make better, you know, a better plan their operations. But as well as the science and research, this will be a place for future stars, a place where legacies are in the making. So we definitely see that Arium is going to have direct impact through the new science, the new knowledge it creates, the new technology it develops. But I think possibly even more important than that is the people that come through. So the students, the postdoctoral researchers, the technical staff, the early career researchers. So it's really about capability building and capacity building in Australia. So some of these may go on to work you know, with our industry partners or on similar projects, but they're going to go into all sorts of different, different domains and, and continue to have impact there. So it's really, it's really building Australia's capability. The Arium Hub is currently advertising PhD positions. They're looking for ambitious and talented researchers to join the team. Go to ariumhub.com for more information. Laura Hawkins, Australian Space TV, Sydney.